Welcome back to my channel. I'm Dr. Cindy Pham and today I'm going to go through how I prepared for my postdoc interview at King's College London. <laughs> I haven't really ever done a postdoc interview this thoroughly before so I thought it would be a great opportunity um, to really share how I prepared for it. So if you're new here, I was awarded my PhD in March 2023 and I submitted my thesis in October 2022. And usually the time from when the thesis was submitted through to when it was finalized or completed, there's usually around a four month period, which is the best time to apply for a job or apply for a postdoc. Unfortunately, um, that wasn't me, <laughs> so I went straight into the workforce um, and I was a project manager. I stepped up in my current role as a research assistant in the same team, so I was provided an opportunity of a lifetime, so I couldn't say no. And so I've worked as a project manager while I kind of gave myself the time and the space to really reflect and figure out what I wanted to do for myself and whether that was stay in academia, leave academia and pursue industry, public services. I didn't really know what I wanted to do post PhD. I actually experienced a quarter life crisis. Um, I felt very stuck and I didn't know what to do. It took me a spontaneous trip to Bali just to get away from my busy life and busy work life, to just be, to really figure out what I wanted to do. And coming back from that trip, I was like, yes, I'm going to pursue a postdoc and just give academia a chance. In May uh, was when I started looking for postdocs that aligned with what I was interested in researching. And I applied for three postdocs. Two of them were in the UK and one of them was in Australia, where I am based now. I received an interview for the Australian one and one in the UK and the other one I was unsuccessful. But that's okay. I think that's a blessing in disguise because the one that I was not successful for was a slight stray out of my like experience. So that's quite understandable. But the interview that I got at King's College London completely aligns with my PhD work and so I'm super excited and I'll provide more details on that in future vlogs. <laughs> a little bit about the interview details. A month and a half post-application I received an interview invite by email given eight days to prepare for this interview. They gave me the different things that I would need to complete in my 30 minute interview and that, that includes a 15 minute test uh, which would be provided to me 30 minutes before the interview, a four minute presentation on the postdoc that I would potentially be pursuing and um, question time with the interview panel. So they also provided the title of the presentation as the topic. And lastly, it was a Zoom interview. So I didn't have to fly to the UK. It was purely done digitally. There's a pros and cons to that. Um, but I think given the opportunity, the Zoom meetings or interviews work just as well. Because I'm based in Australia and the interview was done at um, the UK time. I think I did my interview at like 8 or 9 p.m. my time, Australian time, which wasn't too bad, um, but I was very nervous. Next, I'm going to run through how I planned or prepared for my interview. So given that I only had seven days to prepare for this interview, the first day, calming my nerves and just still in a bit of like shock that I received an interview for 
a prestigious university across the other side of the world, they sit in the top five universities for uh, my field of interest, which is psychology, psychiatry and neuroscience. And I was just over the moon. The first day I would plan what I would do um, every single day so that I would be effectively preparing for the interview and making sure that I do all the things that I wanted to do. And so I was just planning day tasks. And this was all done after work hours because I work a full-time job. And so this was my downtime. <laughs> day two, I did a quick literature review on the presentation topic. So for me, I was very fortunate that the presentation or the potential postdoc already aligned with my content knowledge and experience. But I still did a quick literature review anyway, because from the time I submitted my PhD to the time of this interview, it was around eight months, maybe. New literature would have already been published by then. And I just wanted to make sure that I'm not missing any gaps. The third day, I plan and created the presentation slides. Remember, it was only a four minute presentation. So my slides had to be very precise. They had to be timed. They had to be informative, but not drowning in information and easy on the eyes. And then once I created these slides, I would practice these every single day leading up to the interview. For day four, I looked up my interview panel. They provided in the email uh, the interview panel and their full names and etc. So this was actually an advice from my boss or my manager. She was like, you always should look them up, see what they do, what their research is on, their research interests. If they have any publications, then you should familiarize yourself with their papers and their work. I just kind of had a better idea of where they sat in the academic world. Day five, reading up on the project. I am a postdoc in human studies, longitudinal studies. I needed to look up the project and familiarize myself with the project's mission and their vision, what they hope to achieve as a big picture kind of idea or view. Just making sure that I am aligning my goals with the project goals, because I feel like that's really important. Day six, I spent this familiarizing myself with coding. They sent me a subsequent email um, after the invite saying that my 15 minute test that will be provided to me 15 minutes before my interview was on reading code and they provided a list of four languages and fortunately for me I knew Stata and R which were on the list. How I familiarized myself with reading code again was going through my old or my PhD R scripts and do files and just learning, re relearning the lingo again. Up until the interview itself, I haven't actually written code um, for almost a year because in my final year of my PhD, I wrote my fourth paper and then a large chunk of my final year was to finalize my thesis. And so I haven't actually written code in so long. And reading code, writing code is something that you have to do regularly because you do have to practice it to be quite good at it. For day seven, I spent this drafting up all of the interview questions and writing ideal answers for them. Um, for me, I was very transparent with my boss or manager at the time with this upcoming postdoc interview. And so I asked her, what do you usually ask in an interview and whether she had any tips and tricks on what I should do <laughs> during the interview. Um, I think her number one tip or uh, advice was be yourself, 
<laughs> and don't ask too many questions. <laughs> really kind of go through your interview questions, uh, see if they answer them throughout the question time and really have like a top five or ten questions that you can ask but um, she said not to ask all of them because you also don't want to bog them down with all of the questions. That's how I prepared for my seven day preparation for my postdoc interview and if you enjoyed this video please like and subscribe here and I will be going through some of these um, tasks that I did for the past seven days in more detail in subsequent videos. <laughs> if you guys enjoyed that video please like and subscribe to my channel and I will see you guys next time. Don't forget, learning never stops scholars. <laughs>